Jeter hits it into right. Game over. Yankees win and the series is tied. The Diamondbacks are world champions. That ball is trouble. And the Marlins have won game four. Red Sox fans have longed to hear it. The Boston Red Sox are world champions. And here goes one into left. How about three on the night? That's a wow. Breeze hits it in the air to set. We will see you tomorrow night. This is deep in trouble, and are you kidding me? Wow. Three homer game for Pablo Sandoval. The longest drought in the history of American sports is over, and the celebration begins. Isn't that great? Oh, some of the so great, great moments in recent World Series history. We're going to focus now on some overlooked moments in World Series history that happened this century. So what we'll do is... You Dero, you're first. I'm first? Yeah. The big moment, game five of the 2017 World Series between the Astros and the Dodgers. It's the best game I've ever been to. It's the loudest I've ever heard a stadium. I've never heard a stadium so that So we're loud. in the trailer across the street. Yep. It, the trailer, a minute, it just started shaking, shaking. And we all looked at each other and we're like, we can't be here. We have to, we have to right. get in there. It now, that so game loud. was capped I, off with Alex Bregman's walk-off yes. hit. So I think we have that here. Alex Bregman with the, uh, the walk-off hit. Off Kenley Jansen, that's Derek, Derek Fisher. Fisher. Great speed, Kent was, brought on as a pinch runner. There was so much to this game. Yeah. It and that's so how it ended. Loud. But Dero, the moment you want to focus on that was overlooked oh, involved Yuli Gurriel's Gurriel. bomb. That's when the play shook, and I'm like, I have to be a part of this. Clayton Kershaw, they're losing 4-1. He spins a breaking ball middle of the plate, and all of a sudden, tie game, and it's exploding. An unbelievable moment in game five. That ended up 13, 12 in 10 innings. It, there was so much. How fast much. did you get onto the field? It, it, it took you a while. No, it was so loud. You know, the best spot in the house sometimes for us to watch the game because we got to go out on the field afterwards. It's hard to watch from the suites and, and, yeah. and the stands and try and figure out what pitches are being thrown. So we go to the trailer and you're kind of yeah. getting everything. And I'm like, man, I got to. I got to be in the stadium for yeah. this one. This place is going off. Maybe we get a rematch this year in this year's World Series yeah. between the Astros and the Dodgers. All right, Lauren, 2001. Yeah, I'm going to take you back to 2001, Game 7 of the World Series. We all know about yeah. this moment in time, greatest closer of all time, right? Luis Gonzalez, the walk-off, all the Diamondbacks. Watch this moment in time. Mm. A little jam job playing the infield in. And watch the Diamondbacks dug out. Jumping Ooh. onto the field. Yankee. We, by the way, we were showing this before the show and all the Yankees fans in our house were like, no way. Tony Womack, though, at the play. Yankees two outs away. Mariana Rivera. This was the moment that set that up. And Womack, you couldn't get him out no. in the latter part of that series. He had a big, big Barajas, series. Barajas, ex-teammate right that there. That was the 2-2 pitch. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, that was really good. All right, mine goes back to the uh, 2011 World Series between the Cardinals and the Texas Rangers, remember the Texas Rangers, they were a strike away. David Fritz. A strike yeah. away. Now the big moment here. Oh. Yeah. I see you. David Freeze. Yeah, Joe Buck with the, we'll see you tomorrow night in honor of his late father. But the moment that some people forget about. Lance. Lance Berkman. Lance Bergman. Had a, Lance Berkman had a great series against the Texas Rangers. God, the Texas Rangers, 2010, the Giants beat them, 2011, Cardinals beat them, and then it's like, oh. They, he had they two had extra bases. He, he had two extra base hits, five RBIs in the seven games, and uh, obviously towards the end of his career. By the way, Lance There's Berkman so should be in the Hall of Fame. I think about. Lance Berkman should be. October. In the Hall of Fame. I think about, I go back to 2010 when I was sitting sitting hard pine for the Giants watching us win a World Series. Ian Kinsler in game one hits a bomb. And we're like, oh, here we go, Texas. It hits the top of the wall and comes back. They don't score. It, it, things start, you start sensing it as a ball club. Like, man, things are going our way. Yeah. It's our time. Well, so, what's, what special moments will we have now? in 2022? We'll have to, several weeks to wait and find out. Uh, one more overlooked moment 
from the post, this is from the postseason, not necessarily the World Series. Uh, me wearing this jacket and scarf combo oh my uh, at Yankee <laughs> Stadium. Uh, now this is not, this, uh, these of course, not World Series moments because of course, uh, the Yankees have not been to the World Series. This since is your A game? This is your A game. Uh, You're feeling it right there. The scarf, the scarf looks Scarfs good. Scarfs are underrated, I think. Scarfs, that is an underrated moment. <laughs> From, from who? Oh, 